Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our Legend of Spyro Adventures. And today it will be with the final Legend of Spyro game, Dawn of the Dragon. Because last time we beat the Eternal Knight, which sadly wasn't as good as a new beginning and uh, I learned that because it was potentially due to the fact that <laughs> also that was a very good uh, opening screen but I'm not sure how much this is like the other games where they just like instantly go into like a, a trailer and I don't want to get spoiled because I hardly know anything about this game like I, I don't I hardly know anything so I want to be very surprised, and also very nice menus so far. But, yeah, uh, I did a little bit of reading, and apparently, A New Beginning and Eternal Night shared a budget of $10 million, with the majority of that money going towards A New Beginning, so couple that with time crunch on making Eternal Night, yeah, Eternal Night just did not have a lot going for it. The graphics got a major overhaul in this game, and it would be a long playthrough for you, mister, this time. Hmm. Interesting. Because I think I looked up how long to beat, and they were all around the same kind of 10-hour range. But, yeah, it's just like... <laughs> feel very sad for the poor, I think, Chrome Studios. Because they seem to do the best with what they had, budgetary and time constraints-wise. But this was made by a different studio and was made for a PlayStation 3, which is the version that we're playing. Uh, though do be uh, noted, because my brain is a little gremlin, brain just went, Hey, why don't you play this on a PlayStation 3 emulator? I did some tests, but who knows? So things will be interesting. And also part of that reason is I don't want to finagle with my setup to turn the 90 degrees to my console TV. So, who knows? Maybe things will go good, maybe things will do bad. But, yeah, I have no idea what the story's gonna be, because we left off with Eternal Night, where Spyro unlocked the Avatar state, I guess, and contained himself, Cinder, and Sparks, and Crystal, with the Chronicler going... In but weather the storm, Spyro, and awaken far later. But do know, while the world will have changed, you will have allies. So, it'll be interesting. Uh, I do think that this is also the game where the Cinder design comes from that everybody draws. Because seriously, I do not... I don't think I've ever seen somebody draw kind of bird head Cinder. It's always kind of the smoother cinder that people draw. But I do not know what the story's gonna be. I do not know how much the gameplay will have changed. Especially because it seems like, since it changed developers for this game, I do wonder how that's going to affect like the gameplay and stuff. <laughs> and Cinder is finally playable in this game. Huzzah, indeed. But yeah, I have nothing else really to say. I don't know how things go, but we shall see. Let us go and see what Dawn of the Dragon has for us. If it will be a glorious end to a trilogy, or if it will sadly follow in the steps of Eternal Night of Budgetary and Time Constraints. <laughs> and New Sparks voice, by the way, which just seems to be a thing. No idea if that was planned, or if they just kept losing Sparkses between games. It seems that they kept Elijah Wood and Gary Oldman through the trilogy, so who knows. But, new game time. Huh. We'll go check options, because always check options. Always put on that. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is technically co-op. I think I want that. We'll have to play around with it. Oh, display options. <laughs> Just gamma. How much gamma do you want? 
And then sound options, everything's at 10. <laughs> uh, we shall... I do believe that should be good. We, uh... I wonder what's in bonus. Spyro's Gallery. Upgrade Spyro's Fire to max level to unlock. Cinder's Gallery. Poison! Okay, so they gave new abilities to Cinder. That's cool. Alliance Gallery. Enemy Gallery. Scenery Gallery and Credits. We can automatically watch the credits. <laughs> but yeah, interesting. But let us start story mode. Single player. Seizing an enemy. We're definitely wa watching this. After a cliffhanger, there's always a third story. Sometimes our strength gives out. All right, that's the Well of Souls. Far less creepy now that the Eternal Dar Eternal Night ended. And we are reminded that even the smallest amount of courage can turn the tides of war. Yeah, cuz super war happened, I guess. Since the purple dragon just disappeared eternally. My hands are basically off the controller. I don't want to accidentally skip this. That's a big dude! Like twitchy little guys carrying a box and then big old big old man. The <laughs> no longer do we have apes, we have tree people. And I, 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 well, I think that was Hunter. Well, good thing I had the subtitles on. He didn't even say anything. I wonder how how differently designed Hunter will be. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. Did they... I wonder what happened. Because this is not where the crystal started. They built a temple around us? How long were we out? Break it. Oh, memory times. Because that's how the last game ended. Or at least the voices. Why did they even come here? Why did they? Why are they breaking us out? They don't look friendly. And I guess we're still unconscious. Where's Sparks? I didn't hear his voice in there. Shackle them. With snakes, apparently. Interesting. Also, I think the designs changed a little bit. Interesting. Huh. Hunter, you knew we were here. Why were you not protecting us this entire time? <laughs> Definitely more furry than before. And there's Sparks. Of course, you wake up. What kind of quip will you give us, dear Sparks? And in what kind of voice? Cinder, you look different. What happened? Where are we? I don't know. They, I like these revised yeah, designs. Me too. My head's pounding. Shh, wait. That's not your head. <laughs> I hear it too. What is that? Sparks, is that you? I doubt he picked up drum lessons. <laughs> I wish it was. Two D dancing sprites. I think there for a moment, but hey. Uh, cheering on your deaths. Well, that's not good. Uh, what is your problem? Um, uh, magic. This can't be good. They're awake. Don't let them escape. You put us here. What is your deal, dealio, dude? You put us here, and then you're like acting weird. Basic moves: jump, light attack, or strong attack. We have a strong attack now. Hold strong attack to <laughs> send enemies into the air. Very interesting. That's... Oh! I, I can take control! Ah! Hell yeah! Press L1 to block. We can block now. I don't think we were able to block ever before. While blocking, move in any direction to evade. Very interesting. And things are just tumbling in the background. Lots is happening, it feels like. Why 
why did they just put us on a random block and they're like, don't let them escape. You, you tied us here. I don't think we can. And we can grab enemies. Now press those buttons to jump with enemy. Oh. Oh, well, that's neat. Very unique. But I am very intrigued. These enemies definitely feel less aggressive than the bloody last game. And it seems like the AI partner doesn't seem uh, capable of taking damage, which is nice. Well, that's not good. Alright, let's go! Ow. Hit the golem's hand. At least the game is telling us. Oh. Ow. Should have dodged. I'm terrible at dodging. Oh, dodging is cool! Ow. Did not expect that. Oh, gems! Gem time! Oh, oh, I can fall and die. I didn't expect to be able to fall. Oh, okay, very neat. So far, design is cool of things. I can dodge in the midair! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, the gameplay is actually tight. Ow. Oh, I think my dodging actually still dodged. And I can dodge out of combos. Oh, I love this. This is amazing. This is just neat. This is what that is. This is neat. This is cool. He's an angry boy. Oh, I am I am loving the feel of this. This chain is slowing us down. It's so cool. We kind of can. Well, I mean, he is the one that's been succeeding for the most part. Okay, good idea. You lead. Even though I'm controlling Cinder so far. Hunter actually looks cool. Even if that was a piddly arrow shot. But it still did wonders to shoot him in the eye. How'd that make you trip and fall, golem boy? That does not sound like any kind of sparks. I'm sorry. Wayne Brady, I love you, but... You do not fit sparks, I'm sorry. Well, kind of neat, the... The necklace is kind of fading out. He's Hunter of Avalar. This voice is far too deep for sparks. And now we can still double jump. Ah, uh, because we need to climb this. But yeah, so far, the vibes are immaculate. It's so cool. Hmm. But I kind of want to explore, because we can kind of explore. And I like that we don't fall to our deaths, they just kind of fly back up. Which is very cool. Huh, I wonder what that was. No idea what the... Oh, that must be my Fury button. And that's dead, dodge. 
But it's cool that we can, like, swap between them. And we don't have any breath attacks yet, I don't think. Yeah, this is very, very cool. Hello, Hunter. Pyro, Fender, how do you feel? Anything broken? Shaken a little, but not too Again, I really like the redesigns of the dragons. I am relieved. I had feared I might be too late. My name is Hunter. Hunter, you've been tracking me. Kinda, he sent you a message on a pirate ship. When you didn't return to the temple, the elder dragon, Ignitus, sent me to find you. That was nearly three years ago. What? Three years? Three years. But that's impossible. Still a decent amount of time. I'm sure this news comes as huh. a shock. Forgive me. Then again, this place does not look like the Will of Souls. Place to account for missing time. Oh yeah, there's actual fly now, and you can do insane breath combos with Cinder and Spyro. Neat. Oh, yep, you can switch between them. That I already know. Escape the catacombs! <laughs> oh, we actually... Oh, cool. Objectives, escape. <laughs> Cinder is... Huh. The... <laughs> Ooh, favorite element, fire, poison. Interesting. Game bonuses. So there's like armor, red crystals, a lot of blue crystals, some green crystals, and monster heads. Level bonus. Ooh, we have to be on the lookout for things. Upgrades, life, elements. Neat. Armor? Huh. Oh, press R2 to spit venom. Hmm. Cyclone. To breathe a cyclone. Siren scream. Shadow strike. And all of these are very expensive. Well, at least they feel expensive. Like, they're probably not actually super duper expensive. It just feels kind of like that. Meanwhile, Dragon Fire, Ice Spikes, Earth Boulder, and Lightning Bolt. Hmm. A little wibbly wobbly that experience isn't shared. But I guess I can understand it to a degree. So I should probably <laughs> use them. Oh, we actually have them immediately. All the powers. Hmm. About the action music. Have you recognized it? I have not. Well, sadly, with this, like, the, the this game's music, it doesn't stick out as much as past Spyro game music. Red gems restore your health. Oh, just kind of neat. I like the design of these. Yeah, I was too busy just gushing over the game to really pay attention to the music. It's getting closer. What's getting closer? Death and damnation? Man, you are just a speedy little boy, aren't you? Whew. Um, you go first, Cinder. It's safer for me. Safer for me, I mean. Quiet. You'll give us away. <laughs> to what? <laughs> the Brocks. Again, like, Wayne Brady does not sound like a Sparks. Up, oh, and I fell to my death. But I do like that we actually fly back up. We are dragons. We are supposed to fly. Oh, triple jump to fly! Okay, let me actually try that. All right, that's kind of neat, and I already failed. <laughs> that's very neat. They'll have to really design the levels to properly take care of that, but that's super cool. 
And here's the golem guy again. Very rude. Oh, <laughs> quick time events. Hey! Well, that was lucky. Why do you want us so bad? What did we ever do to you? You're the one that fought us, Golem Man. Ah, position your dragons in the purple light to save the game. Very cool. Ah, there's green rocks and twirly whirls of doom. Hey, you're good. Hunter, give us a moment to gather our strength. You might want to stand back. This can get weird. <laughs> it is fascinating. <laughs> we Have use the the crystals. These crystals. Dragons are truly remarkable. Yeah, you say that now. Till one tries to kill you, and by one, I mean her. <laughs> she still has. <laughs> still has a grudge after three years. Partake of the crystal. Oh, chronic is this chronicler or ignitus? Uh, definitely chronicler. Captain Planet. Other dragons can master only a single element. Your exposure to the darkness is gifted. Yeah, I, I just, oh yeah, I just realized you, <laughs> dragons are usually typecast, but neat. Fear. <laughs> fear. And shadow. Interesting that fear is a breath attack. Green gems restore your mana. Very interesting. And goblin dudes. <laughs> Grublins. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Where's fear on here? Oh, because it's Siren's Scream. Definitely... These guys just come out of the ground. Don't let them surround you. Yep, we can select them. Spyro can use the aforementioned things, indeed. It's just silly. It's like, and you can use fear. Definitely have to... Well, poison doesn't feel very good, but it's more of like a precise shot more than anything. Boom! Oh, that's a cool move, though, for Shadow. Yeah, give me more. I want to I test out more. Oh, that's the combos you were mentioning. So far. Oh, this could be cool. I am liking what they are potentially doing. Hmm. Maybe we need to burn them. Interesting that they decide to put it behind, like, a... a bibbidi-bah. 
<laughs> For health, you must solve a puzzle. This is the Spiral World's version of healthcare. I do kind of like that they allow you to just kind of zoopity doop around. It's cool. These vines block our path. We must get through. Certain elements can be used to destroy various obstacles. <laughs> Certain ones, you say. Ah, glowy lever. The ultimate lever. Oh, spirit gems. Blue gems increase your experience and can be used to unlock new abilities. Let's see. Oh, it goes to both. Neat. Oh. Adamantine orbs are heavy and limit your ability to fly. Because you need to do, like, puzzles with them. Gotcha. Oh, that is heavy. Oh, that's neat. The impact on that! The impact on it is super cool! Hmm, although now it makes me feel like... Again, the impact is super cool. Because they were like, many things. Can I undo that? I can! I am I am enjoying this. The ideas, the potentiality of it all. Not they were just the little doors that the stuff came from. I do like that, since we are dragons. And they never once really uh, told you why Spyro w would be limited. It's just... Neat. Again, the impact. Ooh, for electricity. Hey, hey over here. I I guess I did it all in one go. Ah, I need to hold it. That's what I needed to do. But yeah, just the impact of the crystal or the adamantine orb is neat. Little design decisions like that, giving the orb weight is fantastic. Let me just quickly see. I want to make sure they're not hiding anything from me. Oh, that was... Uh, is that just part of the geometry? It probably is. I'm always on the lookout for secrets now. Oh, <laughs> limits my ability to fly, but only kinda. I'm gonna have to get used to the fact that Spyro technically can fly free! <laughs> I could basically use that as just a weapon. Fly above an enemy, drop it on their skull. Oh, I fell. I'm a fool. But yes, like, aside from, like, it's just weird. Like, Wayne Brady is, uh, like, uh, has a good voice, but just does not feel like a Sparks. David Spade felt more like Sparks than than even Wayne Brady, but maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it'll grow on me. There's a light up there. We must be getting close. Here, this way. This leads to the surface. Oh. Oh hey. <laughs> Spirit gem. My foolishness is actually my genius. Ooh, I see a green. 
<laughs> I do think that the flying probably trivializes some... ...like, <laughs> platforming. Now what is this? You found a green magic crystal. Collect three more to upgrade Cinder's magic. Ah, so... Oh! And you found a green magic crystal. Collect four more. So it is, uh, kinda shared. Very interesting. Yeah, I really like how it's opened up so far. It definitely feels, like, different. But it feels very nice. <laughs> Just me going all over the place, finding all the breakables. Spyro is the new Link. He sees pots he must destroy. I need all the I need all the experience I can get. Hey, hey over here. Yeah, the graphics, like the overall design. I wonder what he was hey hey over hearing for. I don't even know where you are, Spux. You just disappeared. Just gotta Interesting, the flying All right, so actually holding makes you go down. Hmm. Does it? <laughs> the flying will take some getting used to. But definitely feels like they went hard making this game. I wonder if this was made, like, in conjunction with the Chrome Studios games? A new beginning and everything. Hmm. Well, we know he, that Hunter wants us up there, but... Or maybe he does he. Hmm. <laughs> Spyro. I need you, Spyro. We must work together, I presume. Ah, that's why. But I also kind of like the... You were <laughs> kidnapped before you woke up. And now you are magically tied together. Even if it just kind of was glimpsed over. But let's climb. Ah, we have to grab on to climbable zones and have a funky little <laughs> climbing animation. Such is the way of the world. Everything must have funky little climbing animations. Ah, so they don't want you being able to fly up high <laughs> where all the climbing has to take place. Yeah, the flying mechanics will take a little bit to get used to, but... It still seems pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, just a bit sad we don't really recognize the Malifor Mountain Well of Souls design. That is true. Because, then again, Malifor Mountain Well of Souls was kind of, I don't know, felt kind of basic. But it is <laughs> kind of weird. That this place just got a complete redesign in three years. Oops! That's not what's supposed to happen at all. I'm probably supposed to... 
press O instead of trying to jump off. Well, speaking of jumping off, <laughs> I like that gliding makes us go down slower than trying to fly to get up here would otherwise. You have gathered enough experience points to upgrade your abilities. Oh, there's even... Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's technically combos. An air Dragon Rage. But elements. I can upgrade Siren Scream. Which does seem to have, like, uh... Seems to be a, a decent, like, enemy dealer. Not sure how much damage it does to enemies. But... Hmm. Because that was good to, like, uh, throw enemies up in the air, so probably these two, but I'm not sure. Spit Venom, but I'm not sure how much damage that did. Cyclone was kind of just, like, schmiggity schmacking him. I'm going to upgrade Fear. Interesting. Your has, it has increased. You earned a new Fury Gem. Get two more to increase your Fury level. And now we can use Phantom Fright. Interesting. We're going to be getting a lot of experience. Hmm. Meanwhile... Transform into a boulder! Okay. I think I'm just going to upgrade... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, well, I guess we'll dedicate to the fire in the future. My bad. Yeah, so far, I am definitely intrigued and hoping that things go good. Wait, actually, idea. I see boards, and I wonder if I can horn dive them. I can! <laughs> it was just for minuscule amounts of gems, but hey... I do like that we get a little bit of a speed boost of flying. Even if they do try to limit your ability to fly. But I also do like that they made this a co-op game. Even though I would like... E I would never be able to... Like, uh... Play this with anybody because I just never had people to co-op games with. But... It's just a neat little thing. They're like, hey, we're going to have uh, two protagonists now. Let's make it a co-op game. And now we press O to let go. But I also do like that they brought Hunter back. Because he's like the only other character besides Spyro to be just in a... Okay, I <laughs> actually had to fly fly to get up here. But yeah, since Hunter is like the only other character to be in just a large amount of Spyro games, it's just neat that they're like, hey, let's take this character that a lot of people might know and fit him to this new world. I think it's neat. Some people might be like, eh, they changed the goofball into a hunk. I don't mind. Really, it would have been more weird to see, like, Alora in this game. Well, that's just mean. At point of no return, I guess, unless the, the return is being able to fly. Gotta destroy pots. Move in any direction and press to jump. Then press O to grab. And then you can eject from a wall. Jesus! Horrifying. You said he was gonna distract him! Hey, look out. Much distracting you're doing, cheetah boy!
Well, I'm intrigued. They wouldn't put all this over here for no reason. Okay, I want to check something, though. Uh... Ah, so these are counted. Mm -mm -mm. So we're still looking for monster mask, five, well, I guess four more memory gems or like spirit gems, and then a health diddly d. Gotcha. But yeah, I am just digging everything. You've earned a fury gem, such as the power. Comet Dash. Neat. Yeah, I'm liking the feel of it all. Oh, quick time event! Your arm is now stuck in the wall. What are you gonna- Oh, you're gonna rip your arm off. Oh. That's mildly horrifying. You have no preservation instincts. What is that? I've never seen one like that before. It's Dark Crystal. Be careful. It's evil. It isn't natural. That crystal radiates with dark magic. Destroy it quickly. Interesting. <laughs> Destroy it quickly. Look for special elite enemies hidden throughout the game. There's one right behind you at the foot of the waterfall. Okay, but there's also like a bit of other things up here. I always laugh when Chronicler appears out of crystal like he could transfer his mind into the crystals. Chronicler, hey young purple dragon, so that I tried to kill you during my super to do magic breath dragon purple super test. Sorry, kid, that was for your training. Well, he can see the future. He knew that Spyro would be fine. But, uh, hidden enemies, huh? Huh. We'll have to keep a lookout for that. Hmm. I guess I'll hold on and upgrade Venom next. See the... Because you said there's a hidden enemy? At the base of the waterfall. I presume this way then? I guess all the way down. You said at the base of the waterfall game. Like, how base of the waterfall are we talking? Oh, hey, I, also, I almost missed this. How dare I almost miss that. And another crystal. Jesus. Because I did have add-in. <laughs> ah, <laughs> we kind of don't even need to have to platform. We just have to fly along the ground a bit. Hmm. As the game said, at the base of the waterfall. Like, do you mean the base of... The overall waterfall, like, down this way? Also, pots regenerated, it seems. Or I just never went down this far. I mean, it's not like we can fall to our deaths. Because it said behind you at the base of the waterfall. Hmm. Not that way. 
Oh, wrong button. Well, let's go spelunking for hidden enemy. Oh, I messed up. I have to press the grab button. Oh, I guess I meant more up. Maybe. Maybe. Because there's like, a, I guess, a hole now. I vastly overcomplicated it, maybe. Because hmm, they said behind you at the base of the waterfall. Am I just dumb? I'm, I might just be dumb. Hmm. Because I doubt it's over here. But still... Thought that might have been a potential way. It appears not. Because it said behind you at the base of the waterfall. I do wish they didn't like, uh, restrict the camera so much. It was like... Hmm. Alright, that's just a wall. Because behind you, at the base... Oh! <laughs> this waterfall! The <laughs> not the big waterfall, the tiny one! Elite enemies are stronger than normal, but will reward you for more experience points. How utterly horrifying. Ow. I need to be careful. Ow. I have no idea how to fight this guy. <laughs> way stronger, you say, and then just no real way to know how to beat that guy. At least I saved up here. Hmm. And at least it also kept those. Hmm. So I should try... Maybe I should try Shadow Striking. Ah, there we go. It had a magical mask on it. <laughs> it's just a little bit weird that they gave this enemy uh, a gimmick, so I didn't really know what to do against him. <laughs> but I defeated an elite enemy and got a shit ton of experience points. Holy shit. Okay.
Well, at least I had the idea of, like, I should immediately go to just knocking him up in the air. Apparently that was the right way to do it. He just had those invulnerability frames. Due to his special little mask. I get it, it's an elite enemy, but... Felt like you could have tutorialized that as well. It's like, for instance, this one is evil because he's a bitch. But at least I died and learned. And we should definitely... Because hmm. I think Venom can be cool. And press R1 for a scorpion strike. I completely forgot about Phantom Fright. Hmm. We should definitely upgrade Shadow Strike as well. Now I can breathe Shadow Fire. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, that's cool looking though. Yeah, at least the ally doesn't seem to take damage. But I'll definitely need to then give Spyro the next, like, enemy kill. The next boss kill. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're just missing the health and one more crystal. Which hopefully... Well, there's the one more crystal. So presumably the health thing should be around somewhere. But very interesting. Just gotta get used to it. <laughs> Especially because after I knocked the guy's shadow mask off, he immediately became a chump that I was able to annihilate at my leisure. Destroy the pot. Let's see, because I think we can now, yep. Yeah, finish upgrading the flame. Oh, wait, no. Definitely not that. Don't want to waste that. Again, turn into a giant boulder. Hmm. Well, since we have the experience for it, we'll upgrade electricity. And now we got a fury gem. No idea what that does. to the surface. It's best we remain unheard. All right, big cheetah man, I get the message. Sheesh. Although I just kind of realized m uh, maybe something. Maybe the reason they restrict you to like having experience on one character is that you don't just uber buff one and steamroll the game. The horn. It must be part of some sort of locking mechanism. Honestly, why not just a lock and key like normal folks? Look around. There must be something we can use to lower it. Maybe like a giant golem's dead body? There's obviously that. Uh, I figured that this, like, would turn into a platform that I could then use to find the hidden health bucket. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything up there, so... Turn the wheel! Turn the magical wheel! Get out of here, you swamp monsters.
What the hell? Guess they can dig underground. Like little freaks. Gotta turn the wheel ever more. <laughs> Is this like the evolution of the 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 toad frog weed things? They evolved and seek revenge for their ancestors whom we murdered in the tutorials of the first game and the second game. Spyro, hurry up and open this door. But are you incapable of opening it? Do you not have lips? Oh, neat. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. They're like, hey, you have to do this. What is your deal? No, don't damsel send her again! <laughs> okay, this is cool. Playing tug of war. <laughs> with the, the magical binding. Are you going to lose your other arm now? I think he's going to lose his other arm now. From Twitch chat. Oh lord, I missed a lot. We're o we're only an hour in. It does does feel a lot. But there's a dragon city. Why why is there a dragon city? Why why have a sanctuary if there's a dragon city? Oh, I didn't find the health power! The health boobity boo. Or maybe we did. Is this the same level? Uh, different level. Twilight Falls. But there is armor here to find. Follow me. Oh, <laughs> just dip into the water a bit. Man, Hunter is just parkouring up a storm. Oh, look at the the moons of the, the giant celestial bodies. I think I see some treasure. I don't think I can go get them just yet. Oh, neat! We can actually land. It was. New objective, reach the enchanted forest. Oh, and enemies. And just, <laughs> hello little <laughs> flying man. <gasps> I'm gonna miss the entire eternal night. <laughs> Hope you're good, Neon, I am doing good. Eternal night was uh, a bit of uh, a time. Reused bosses, increased difficulty out of nowhere. But I definitely want to find, like, the armor pieces or whatever those were. Nope, normal fire doesn't, or, uh, the dark fire doesn't work. I have to use normal fire. A bit odd, but okay. I want to find all the hidden upgrades. How dare you have sparkly, shiny minion people. A little bit of health needed for you. But yeah, the kind of open feeling of all this is kind of cool. Ah, there's another stamina gem. Which I do believe gives up great for both. 
which is very nice. We'll be with you in a moment. Uh, is there a, uh, is there maybe a map? It would be neat if there was a map. Hmm. But yeah, here we have two stamina, one health, seven experience, a hidden boss, and apparently two armor. Oh, well, I think I see the other stamina. Good thing I went... Th good thing I looked back. But I'm digging the vibes of all this. But again, it's like, there's a dragon city that we just never heard of before. Ooh. Interesting. I wonder where this is taking us. Or if I could break out if I wanted. I cannot. Oh, it t took us to a boss. We need to knock off your mask, probably. Like, unless there's a specific thing I need to hit him with. Dang it. I keep forgetting, I can do super combat rolls. It's been a bit since the boss fight. Let's see, maybe I can... Dang it. I definitely need health. Did you lose your mask, finally? Almost. I think we're maybe making progress. I need to do my dodges more. Like, dealing a little bit of damage, so there's probably supposed to be, like, a... Like, you are supposed to do it a single way. Maybe I need to fear him a bit. Hmm. Or maybe I need to just, uh... Cyclone him more. Don't know. That seems to be, like, a part of it? Because we are dealing some damage to him. His health bar is going down. But what's this, then? Maybe we need to... Or is this where the armor is? Are those shoulder pads? You select the armor to equip for your dragon. Ooh, new armor for Cinder. Very nice. Because, like, I feel like this is affecting him somehow. Maybe I need to use Spyro. Uh, 
Uh, doesn't seem to affect him much. Doesn't seem like he cares about that at all. I'm lucky that I remembered that dodging is a thing. That was close. Ow. I have no idea how this is supposed to help me. The earth power is wonky and weird. Oh, now I get it, I think. Ow. I'll handle this. Oop. Just gotta get my... Get feared, darn Are you quivering in fear? Oh. Well, still, these guys do a lot of damage, but I can walk him around now. Oh, got hit. Do you, though? Gotta wait for him to attack. <laughs> now, really, this is the <laughs> Dark Souls of Spyro. Because there's so much dodge rolling that I'm doing. If only the health also respawned as much as the health of the the breath power. Hmm. What I should probably do is use Cinder's like uh breath diddly because the cyclone is oh because the cyclone can knock him off good. Darn it! And I died anyway. Ah, remember grapple on smaller enemies. That's true. Oh, we just... Alright. <laughs> Feels like we're in a new place. Be gone, evils. I have breath power, and I shall kill you all. Especially because there's free breath power later. Oh, it was telling me that now I can unlock it. Good. I think I was looking at this segment earlier. Of like, huh, maybe I can fly over there. Because, uh... I think we're in the same spot. Definitely should use some <laughs> of our experience. Oh, yeah, and the armor. Regenerating health! Neat! Let's see. I guess upgrade you next. And what should we upgrade from you? I guess Cyclone, since Cyclone is actually pretty decent for... Throwing enemies about. And then I guess Shadow. We'll focus on Shadow to get to level 2. Definitely need more of you. Hmm. 
Just fly about back to the boss fight. Because I've got more exploring to do. Again, I do like that we can just kind of fly normally. Yeah, because there's uh, still that experience crystal kind of down from the waterfall. <coughs> but I want to beat this guy. We're going to try. Because all right, here we go. Dang it. I do kind of miss the ability to. Locked on to enemies. I know I want to save that health as much as possible. Especially now that I have regenerating health, though, I should make, <laughs> hopefully, be able to be a bit more crazy. Darn. Venom is just hard to land on some of these. Small little guys. Whoa! Hmm, so maybe his poison won't work on him and it's just Earth. Or maybe I'm just terrible at hitting him. Maybe I need to hit him a lot of times in a row. Well, the Earth seems to work against him. And we shall spin you about. Also need to try grabbing. Oh, that's brutal! Okay, grabbing against small enemies, super cool. Also that regenerating health, though. Grapple is amazing. Now I know why they gave them the invulnerability masks. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to kill him as Cinder again. <laughs> Oops, all Cinder playthrough. <laughs> My bad. What even is Fury? Press square repeatedly to increase your speed. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm coming for you. <laughs> the Legend of Cinder, then. She's just like, I'm terribly sorry for stealing all your thunder, Spyro. But I need to make up for lost time. I was shafted. Oh, I think I see. Because the main thing is, I don't know what will, like, end the level. So I don't want to just, like, preemptively go. Because, like, I guess, like, health and stamina gems I'm willing to, to lose. Because it's just stats, but I definitely want to get them secret guys and the armor. Let's see. Which is basically just health and one more armor.
Hmm, I wonder. Were you actually blocking a, a secret way through, perhaps? Nope, just trees. Because I'm not sure if talking to Hunter will damn me to completing the level. So I'm a little wary of going towards him. Or if this will, like, go forth with the level. I don't know. I guess this will be an armor chest for Spyro, then. <laughs> Even though they both have to open it. It's a button press for the end of the level. Hmm. Watch this be another Cinder one, it would be hilarious. Nope, for Spyro. Now even you, Spyro, you too can no longer be naked. But it's for your tail. Increased attack speed. Neat. And for <laughs> tail, you mean his, like, lower back. Because I think I saw, like, uh, so yeah, I think we have to talk to him to open up the, oh. <laughs> I got too close, I activated combat. I need to keep, I need to remember to do this more, it's, it seems much more efficient. Plus, it'll inflate my hit numbers. Don't let them escape, or others will come. What if we want that? <laughs> what if we want to do maximum damage to them? Just have them all invade, just so we can kill them. And I'll just gnaw on you and kill you like a cat. That's uh, a big guy. A weird zombie elephant. But I shall annihilate slowly. And obliterated. Ah, for your award, soul power. Yeah, because obviously that's going to lead us to another part of the, the level because there is still other, like, things to do on the other side, unless I'm being lied to. I do like that Spyro and Cinder work together. Is that you, your way of telling me that that will end the level? Because I missed a I missed the one... Like, health gym upgrade. Oh wait, no, the, the health gym upgrades is up there. <laughs> I heard the wind. I'm just like, what the fuck? Why is there wind blowing in my ear? While one dragon is climbing, the other dragon can use the chain to swing? While hanging from the chain, hold X and use left stick to swing. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that Spyro and Cinder were swingers. Uh... Woo! I 
have to go back to Cinder to maneuver properly. But this is a cool mechanic. Whoa! <laughs> this is awesome. That alone makes this just an amazing game. The fact that they're incorporating it so much into it is cool. Let me see. Uh, for this level, that is everything. Good, good. <laughs> Go to Enchanted Forest. Uh, I don't think there... I thought I did see, like, a cave, but uh, it doesn't seem like there's a way to get to it normally, so... Uh, it was probably just a geometry thing. So let's go. That's cool. Hello, bird. Go. Tell Ignitus I have found him. Ugh, it's no use. Well, maybe if we try twisting it. Twist what? It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> I could watch this all day. Oh, hey, a volcano. He's returned, hasn't he? Well, that's what the Chronicler said. All because of the well of souls. Fueled by hatred and malice, reclaiming the throne as a temple, which, through some dark magic, he now suspends above the land. Huh. A symbol of his dominance. We've been at war ever since, and every day his forces grow stronger, and ours lose hope. They were all counting on me when I failed. Well, you went to How save Cinder. I mean, you did do the Avatar State to save everybody back at the Well of Souls, so come on. Creature back there, it was an ancient Earth golem from the deep. They are the embodiment of destruction summoned. But I really like the designs they made for this one. A dark turning. They beefed up Spyro, but they fixed his face a little bit. We kind of do. What kind of stuff? Is she sleepy? Hey. Magic snipers? <laughs> Who knocked us out? What happened? Well, <laughs> apparently it's probably yeah, the the tree people again. Oh, but <laughs> it's your people. Why? <laughs> How dare? Is it because we're dragons? Ah, you have such little respect for our laws that you form an alliance with the very ones who caused all our misfortunes. Chief Prowlis, Malifor, he alone. Ah, so they're racist. This dragon is our then again, the last purple dragon is the one that's doing all this, I believe. Yes, yes, the purple dragon. I know the story, but unlike you, I have not forgotten what they say Malifor was like when he was young. I must rely on all of us in this village to protect me. But you chose to abandon us and bring the dangers of the outside world with you when you return. The dangers yeah, are all like, around us. Yeah, he's already there in a giant hey, can't you catch flying mountain. Arguing? It's getting awkward for everybody. Rublin! In the valley! Repair your weapons! And while they attack, we can burn down their fortress and force them to join us. Ah, yes. Such dragon-caused forces of danger. Now see what you've done. But let us go. We can what do you mean, what we've done? Can this. Your buildings are on fire. Now is not the time to be stubborn. Hey, a lot of weird stuff happens when they get upset. I <laughs> That's probably the the most accurate thing that Sparks has ever said. Weird stuff happens when they get angry. 
Ah, crap, it's a defense mission. If only we had the water <laughs> water breath in this game, we could tur put out the fire. I'm also trying to grab you. Please, come on. <laughs> Let me grab you and kill you. You jerk. We can handle this ourselves, he says. Man, Cinder's air grab is just so brutal. And get schmiggity schmecked. Idiot. You are attacking a burning building, and that is it. Blue dragons. Yes, we are They're probably not for us. Those are not dragons. <laughs> Why would you think they were dragons? How many flying dragons have we really seen in this world? All right, that holds them in place a decent bit, at least. Wish I could grab them. But I can just paralyze my foes with fear. Yeah, you stay there. And it homes. It's super cool. And my purple gauge in the center of the screen is almost... <laughs> almost free and ready to use. Whatever it is. What even are these things? Fury mode. Your fury meter is full. Press square and triangle simultaneously to go in fury mode. In two players mode, press simultaneously of both to go in there. So it's like the same thing. I mean, it's not like you guys are actually doing anything. We are literally the only ones fighting them half the time. Go ahead and activate that so that the can then begin death. Seriously, what are those things? What nightmare creatures has m the, the evil purple dragon done? Also, these aren't really buildings. They're just outposts, really. I do like the, like the cat people's designs. Then how about you let your prisoners go? <laughs> I'll go. I'll find your missing friend. Hunter can come with us. <laughs> they just left him. Uh, get, well, not even that. He just stayed there. You are free to act as you see fit. <laughs> stayed <laughs> leaning up against there. <laughs> I mean, they already know that you're here, plus the fire. Yeah, so far. Interesting. Fear pow. It's just hilarious that Spyro has, like, fire, earth, ice, and, uh, lightning. <laughs> Cinder has fear.
He's just kind of hilarious. So let's see. All uh, right. This place has a lot. Three health, three stamina, four armor, and a secret enemy. And a pretty open level, it seems. <gasps> it's playing the main theme from the first game. Is there a way to increase the music? No, it begins at 10. Darn. I guess I'll lower sound effects a little bit, but... It's the main theme! I like that they're reusing it. Also, it's sad too, we don't see the apes again. Looks like their species got extinct after the Well of Souls. Or it could just be that after Gaul got smacked down, the apes didn't have anybody to rally around. So, they kind of just gave up. Hmm. I wonder what even this is. It's neat that they're playing the music. And just look at this. It's wonderful design. Well, not even design, just like the way it all looks. It definitely brings in a lot of color. Because it is definitely noticeable that like in the other ones, like the other games, the the color palette is kind of dark. But this, this just feels nice. It's very cool. Wait, is that a branch that went by? How is, the, how is a branch going by? Let's see. We have a lot. I wonder if I should just immediately begin. You know what? We're going all in. Fear is awesome. What about you? Were we midway through upgrading anything? I think midway up through upgrading fire again, which... Yeah, let's do that. Huh, I wonder if that's, like, the way we're meant to go, the cave. Because in a way, the world does kind of point us in that direction. <gasps> Is that vines for climbing? Vines for climbing? You try to hide from me? Oh, that's not what I meant, game! Because it feels like we should... Oh, wait. I'm a, I'm a double dumb. I can do that. I got hooked on the ability to... Diddly D. Hmm. Well, now I definitely don't know where. Because the cave feels like the way we're supposed to go, almost. Almost, kinda. Because the camera was so focusing on it. Now, who will get this treasure? Cinder or Spyro? It's more bracers, so probably Spyro? Nope, for Cinder. Cinder only gets bracers, I guess. Regenerating mana or regenerating health? Hmm. Health is more important.
it is kind of funny that I can just go wherever and... <laughs> At the very least, like, your AI partner doesn't act as a detriment towards you. That is very nice. Hmm. But I'm still wondering about this, though. Oh. Is that the, uh, <laughs> uh, causing uh, them to take notice? Bit. Get schmaggity schmacked, schmaggity schmacked. Schmackings for everybody. Hmm, so maybe the cave isn't the. It feels like we should be able to destroy this, almost. I'm just going back and forth. It's just like, the cave is a trap. Or out there is a trap. The cave is a trap. Out there is a trap. Hmm. Well, I guess we should be able to do whatever, no lo uh, as long as we only return after... Uh, uh, return to the village only after we get Meadow. So even if we get Meadow, we as long as we don't go back to the village, we should be fine? It's just that it focuses on the cave so much. Hmm. Just makes me worried. But this might just be a boss fight. Graphical glitch due to my choices in life. Well, there's Meadow getting crucified. We'll come back later. <laughs> so long, Jesus. I thought this was going to be like a level transition. Yeah, we shall return later. <laughs> Just fucking see a poor cat guy crucified in a cave. Then again, more than likely, he'll if we free him, he'll be like, oh, you can now go do other thing for us. Probably. And I'm just preemptively doing things. <laughs> Poor man, he's just next to his village. Yeah, that's also true. He's just like... We can't go looking for him, but he's probably just, like, right over there. Nope, can't go looking for him. Ah, yellow. We need electricity for you. Come on, Spyro. Pop up up here, please. Spyro. There you are. Uh, you precisely don't, because... And there goes your mask. Oh, Jesus! Also, why are there the cat people like a chain tower up here? Is this where they used to uh, keep people imprisoned? Dang it. Ah, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I can probably do that more. Nope. Game does not want me to air grab this guy. But poor man, after I took his mask and feared him, he's just... Been unable to do anything. <laughs> Must suck to be you. <laughs> it just sucks to be you, my poor dude. I took off your mask, feared you, and you've been stuck in fear this entire time. Oh, woe is you. Okay, I almost forgot. I need to swap to Spyro to 
give the uh, give him the the boss kill experience. He deserves it. <laughs> I think this boss translates well what happened to you on the arena on the last stream. Yep, the goddamn Draugr arena. Where I just kept getting comboed and just unable to do anything ever. But now it's my turn. I get to be the Draugr arena. <laughs> I get to stunlock my foes into eternity. Me. Oh, shit. I am the one who causes terror now. I wonder why Cinder takes more to upgrade her health than Spyro. It could just be a, a balancing thing like uh, Spyro is easier to level up his health, but Cinder is easier to level up her magic, maybe? But man, I just... This is a gorgeous game. This is amazing. I really like it. Oh, hello. How dare you. Double how dare you. I shall fear you all to death. We should probably go and probably destroy their spawning. Is what I presume this to be. They should thank us when we get back to the village. Even if we don't bring the poor guy with us. Cause fear within the enemy. Let them not do anything. Stunning enemy is so good. Get out of here. You think you can dodge away? <laughs> I keep forgetting that I can dodge outside of boss fights. Or like, super mega mask man fights. We're just cleaning up Avalar. We are destroying their evil beds. So that's what that was. It was an enemy spawner that wasn't spawning enemies just yet. Back there. <laughs> now Spyro and Cinder have the ability to break their enemies' spines and cervicals. We will break your collarbone and not feel sorry about it. But I do wonder if uh, that one little mini prophecy that the Chronicler mentioned is going to come back into play. The one where he said that Cinder would fall under the prey of the Dark Master again. Or if Spyro, through his heroic gumption, prevented that. Or do we need an adamantine ball for this? Feels like we need an adamantine ball. I wonder. Could Spyro serve as the ball? Nope, definitely. Come on, we can clearly hit through it. Hmm. We should probably spin some of the elements for the poor boy. Spyro's just a poor boy. Now his fire is increased. Increase the decrease. That makes me wonder. <laughs> what whatever happened to the uh, the mushroom forest? 
Hmm. It definitely feels like the game wants us to come this way after saving Meadow, but I do not trust the game. It took away my ability to get that one. All right, you found all of Cinder's green magic crystals. All of them, you say? Like, I'm not sure. It's like, am I supposed to come here after saving Meadow, or is this the go ahead, run around, then go save Meadow? Either way, I shall do as I please. For this level, we still have quite a bit to find, though. No other bosses, though. Or, like, hidden enemies. Oh, come on. This is the perfect, like, you diddly D, but fine. I'm just... I'm loving this. Up. Oh. Almost. <laughs> the game is like... We kind of, sort of will let you, but not really. And again, they're just playing the awesome... A New Beginning music throughout all this. It's just great. Who gets this helmet? I presume Spyro, because it kind of has his spiky uh, mohawk. Yep. You get increased defense. Good job, Spyro. You get to have a helmet now. To protect your brain, so you don't end up like uh, Hero's Tale Spyro. Where his... Uh, brain cells get annihilated every single time he, he, he saves. And schmiggity schmack, schmiggity schmack. <laughs> Grabbing is OP, I love it. Clearly not. Hmm. There's a thing in there, but I'm not sure how to... I'm not sure what the game wants out of this. That's the <laughs> that's thing. Uh, the puzzles might... gongle my brain a bit. Spyro combat rolls. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Why, I don't know, but turn the wheel. And then pull down the lever, I guess. All right, so that's obviously for a puzzle, but I wonder what. So we want to have it be like this, and then when something's caught there, we pull the lever, cronk, and thing goes in. But I wonder for what. It was obviously not that branch. Did not care about that branch at all, this game did. But I do like the kind of sort of free roaming. Hmm, and another one. Because they are like fishing nets. On either side. But I see you, Crystal. You are mine. More experience. Because it's interesting because... Like, this open world... Like, open level... 
is very open, but it doesn't feel barren, which I do enjoy. Because uh, some other games do annoy me when they have like, oh, big open levels, but it's kind of a nothing. Because it's like a, like open space, but empty. Huh. Uh, I guess enemies respawned there. Let's go kill them. Time to have your throat utterly annihilated. Become fearful and die. <laughs> Quit diving down. Are oh, great. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I think he stopped finally. Now we get to shake him to death. I still wonder how to do this. That would be kind of neat if I could burrow underneath. Hmm. Because, like, it feels like... But then again, that's just been, like, a, a side diddly D, But I don't know how to get in. Hmm. Then again, what even is that? It feels like more armor? I'm not sure how to get in. Well, either we will or we won't. We'll explore a bit down this way and then... Depending, depending, head back and save. Poor old metal. Almost! Almost to level two fear. Man, there's a lot of level up diddly dees over there. Ah, enemies to kill, huh? We shall annihilate them all. Aha! Get grabbed to death. <laughs> Spyro fighting like a gentleman. Cinder going absolute psycho. Mine. Death for you. I also like that the effects of your, like, swipes change with your element. Meadow, I'm still waiting, guys. Come save me. Ah, there's still, like, side things to do, Meadow. I don't know if you win the level or not. I don't know if you are good progression or bad progression. So you must wait. Oh, there's a cave down there. A bam. Hmm, I presume that this might
open up for meadow? Maybe. Hmm. Otherwise, I am uncertain. <laughs> and now we're back to the uh, new beginning music. Because all is right in the world. Meadow is still crucified in a cave. Cinder is like, I actually get to see the world for once. Even if it's still kind of being attacked. We can probably level up something for you. What should we level up? Well, probably level up Earth. It's been a bit. Housewise, eh, maybe electricity next. <laughs> We're like very few away. Now it's l now it's awesome. Let's see. Gonna uh, be it for now. There. Hmm, there's a save point here. Ah, some enemies. That we must kill to death. Come on, let me grab you to death. Hmm. Ah, there's more enemies over here that we have to go kill. <laughs> Wish I could grab these guys. How dare. Come on, little flying guys. Let me grab you. And just utterly pound. I think I'm scaring some of these enemies so bad they're just exploding. I wonder what this is specifically. Because it's obviously not about us. We need, like, the adamantine balls. <laughs> oh, because we need Hunter. That's who we need to do things, probably. And then we bring Meadow back, and then we can do things with Hunter. Completely forgot. I got too wrapped up in exploring the open world. I was like, hmm, I wonder what this could be. Hunter. That's what it is. Still no idea what these, like, fishing net things are for. Maybe getting... Hunter out there in the world? Or maybe it's just to open up? I don't know. Maybe it'll be a mini-game. I completely missed this little stone bridge. The last time we came through. I've been playing for two hours. And like one hour is basically... Well, not even that because we... The, the opening level and cinematics took about an hour. So we've been probably running around this place for 30 minutes. And I really like it. Well, let's go save Meadow now. So that we can get... Uh, Although our boy back, Hunter back, from his racist family. Let's see how you even ended up here. 
Why are you crucified? It's a trap. Not much of one. Well, first things first, I'm gonna destroy their homes. It's a trap! Get out of here. I'm Cinder. And I'm the baddest bitch dragon you'll ever <laughs> fucking die to. Fear. It stuns and does amazing damage, apparently. I kind of like these guys' designs, like, of these enemies so far, even if they are kind of a little bit... Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, it's not busy, but it's kind of, like... It's not even, like, overly detailed. There's something about it. Hey, Meadow. How you doing, dude? You dead? Well, that's kind of something. They held him up with enemies. Come on, we... We just finished beating up these kind of guys. <laughs> Thank you, friends. You saved my life. Finally, some gratitude. You're welcome. You know, I kind of forgot that you existed, Sparks. Not all of us are of the same mind. Ah, oh, so that's why he wanted you to die. Can you move? We need to get you out of here. I'm sorry. I'm afraid my leg is broken. Just go back to the village and tell them where I am. Your leader doesn't trust us. If we return without you, he'll likely assume the worst. Probably. And blame us for it. Oh, the fool. I understand. There is a raft at the far end of the So path. that's how we... If you could oh, there, that's how... Ah, gotcha. Okay, we'll do it. To launch it, you'll need the weights from the supply cave, but it's locked. How do we open it? That figures. There is a hermit who lives beneath the waterfall at the other end of the valley. Huh. He has a key. But the cave is hidden. Look for the markings on the wall to open the path. Oh, it's easy. Uh, raft, cave. Balls. Obama, uh, 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 hmm. Got it. Yes. We'll come back for you. I promise. So that's what that's all about. <laughs> Pay no attention to the exploding treasure wall. Who will this belong to? I presume Spyro. It fits his current helmet. Oh no, it's for Cinder. Huh. Wounds attacking enemies. Ah, so it's basically, uh, ba ba ba. You hit me. You hurt. You hit yourself. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? And my brain immediately went to, ah, this is dragon lingerie. They're already kind of armored. Metal on their scales probably isn't super terrible. But yeah, I am just digging this game. Look at the skybox! Look at the skybox! The clouds are moving and everything, and I also remember looking at the, uh, the cover a bit, and it's good! This is really, really good! Now I'm just w imagining, like, all right, so we need one more armor and uh, two other things. But now I'm just wondering, like... What would it be like if they kind of remade the other... Like, uh, Legend of Spiral games to be more in line with this one? 
I think it would be neat. I know it's just me being a foolish fool. Wanting too much. But that's because I'm just adoring this game so far. Or like these, like this, this, these games. Even though, like, uh... Buh, buh, buh. Eternal Night was a little man clunky. It's still just a fantastic time. Wonder what would be over here. Oh, it just it loops back around on itself. Hmm. Press X repeatedly to jump directly from climbing zone to the next. Hmm. I think I'll just stick to how I was doing it. Is jump and grab. Jump and grab. But I wonder what this is. When flying or jumping close to certain walls, to stick and run. Hmm. Oh, uh, oh, that's why. Okay, if, if, I, I was grabbing back onto the, the vines. I was wondering what that was. Hmm. The entire trilogy should be remade at this point. Totally agree. Because the legend, like uh, the reignited trilogy was really, really good. And I don't really think that, uh... Like, uh... Oh, uh... I was not going this way, but I guess I am because of wind. But... I don't think... Like, A Hero's Tale and Enter the Dragonfly are worth remaking. Mostly because... The only real cool things that uh, Enter the Dragonfly and Hero's Tale do are already kind of done like uh, through like the Legend of series of games. Even if I think this wall running is a little janky, but we'll get there. And plus I think like if they did do a remake collection of the Legend of Spyro games, I think that it would be best if they, like, uh, turn it into, like, a full-on, like, uh, like, full-on, full-on. Dang it. It's just wonky, because it feels like the game is trying, like, oh, you're not on the ground, so we want to push you with the wind, but you're on the wall. Like, it feels weird there. The wind is what's making it kind of janky, but we'll get there. But yeah, like, uh... I wouldn't mind if they, like, expanded on the story more. If they... Like, uh... Condi like, condensed in certain spots, made the story just better in some places. Because I think it would just be cool. Like, again, it would be cool if, uh, like, the Eternal Knight, they... Well, that's weird. Magically spawning roots. But, like, if they made Eternal Knight more like Halo 3, like I said, where it's some levels are Spyro, some levels are Cinder. Uh, is this just, like, a completely different area, or... Nope, just normal. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, darn it. Now we get cutscene because enemies. Oh! Ghost monsters. Full on skeleton dudes. Are these the ghosts of apes past? Game, I'm being comboed. I 
I don't even know. It didn't, it didn't even look like they were trying to hit me. Yet they were. This is these are the bones of all the dead apes after the extinction. They seem to sound like them. Because <laughs> I do think they are using the sound effects of the apes from the other two games. Hope that's not a secret, because I am just <laughs> utterly annihilati annihilating these fools. Or like, you must destroy their barrier grounds or something. Smash, 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 smash. Also, whatever happened to the golem? I don't think we ever beat it. No, it did. Well, no, Giz, it was like smashing up the, the thing. I was just wondering the last time we saw it. The last time we saw it was technically not after it ripped off its arm. Returned here? Yeah, but she had her strings cut. But I'm not anymore. I, I'm not proud of the things I've done. Ah, isn't that simple? To turn your back on Malifaux. Well, she has been fighting to not go back ever since. Also, why did you have skeletons? It's not really shadows. Ah, so I was right. They are the apes. Yeesh. Now you're just being rude. Let's go. Didn't we need the key from that guy? Okay, at least it wasn't a complete waste of time. Oh, yeah. Ah, good job, Sparks. You pickpocketed the bastard. Good job. <laughs> what you waiting for? <laughs> From YouTube chat, what do you think of Sparrow's design in this game? I really like it. I like it because it feels like an evolution of the other two games. So it just yeah, it feels nice. Also, why is Sparrow wearing a helmet? Because we have unlockable wearables now. Well, I guess less unlockable and more just we're able to find uh, armor in this game and wear it. And now Spyro's diddly dee's diddly dod. But yeah, that hermit, not very helpful. Just mean. Darn it, game, I wanted to run on the wall, but then you didn't let me. Was it because I was holding the glide button? I was messing with my brain. <laughs> but I'm uh, back to Twitch chat, but I'm sure they're going to choose Hero's Tale because if you announce, like, The Legend of Spyro and more about Eternal Night, people would remind, oh, this game is too hard and I'm not doing this shit again. But at the same time, like, since it would be a remake, obviously, like, they could redo things, so the hard parts could be retuned. But there just isn't much to A Hero's Tale, to me. And plus, there's also, like, a lot of hard parts in A Hero's Tale as well. It's like, I don't know. 
I'm stealing your shit, hermit man. Are we finally gonna get bracers for Spyro? <laughs> Yep. So full on armor for Spyro. Increased fury power. Neat. And how are you liking the flying mechanic in the game? I'm enjoying it. It's a bit janky here or there, but otherwise it feels nice. It's better than falling to my death and then having to retry. Here it's more like, ah, a little bit of jankiness I just have to get used to to do this, like, pseudo-puzzle. Oh, that's cute. Cinder, like, grooming her wing. But yeah, it's like... On the question of, like, remaking Spyro games, I just don't think that... In, uh, like, Enter the Dragonfly or Hero's Tale have much to be gained from remaking them. Because with Legend of Spyro, you can refine the story to be a bit better. You can refine the gameplay and the levels. It's like, I don't know. It's like, there's lots you can do there. But with Hero's Tale, it just feels like a basic I just wanted to check out that one wall, but I guess we're going to come back and do it later. So we have to go get the, the weights. <laughs> What's it like as playing as Cinder? It's nice. It does, like, it, one thing that is cool is that both Spyro and Cinder seem to have, like, different animations. Spyro is more rolly. While Cinder is all flippity doo da, and I like that, they feel slightly different. Their different breath attacks are interesting. It's just neat. Oh, well, you know, before I get distracted again, very nice of them to have uh, Sparks pickpocket the 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 hermit. It's just neat. Cool, we can both carry them. Because I forget, there was... Uh, before we activate the raft, I want to come over here because there was... Like, another thing that we could potentially do to do. Aha! Because there was another, uh, like, weight puzzle this way. I do believe... One other thing, is this game open world, uh, or, or a map showing the next objective? Uh, the levels are, like, linear enough that there isn't really any map. It's just, like, they're wide open levels. The levels are very open, but not open world. Just jump. We Skyrim this shit. We Skyrim this shit. Wait, no, this isn't the right way. I forget exactly where it is. Also, those are climbable, huh? I forget. Did we do climbing over here? Hmm. All right. Because I don't think we climbed these. I want to I wanna down. Huh. Interesting. There's just something a little bit janky about uh, those plants like grab box. Alright. And now we're <laughs> sealing time. Ooh, does this mean that we can, like, uh, climb with the balls? Because we let go and we try to attack, so I want to try. 
Yes, this is how we do it. Darn it. It is a little bit weird that... Some of the climbing is a little wonky. Cinder's jaw and neck is just the most powerful to be able to do all this while carrying a super heavy ball. Booyah. I like this. This is nice. And now since Sparrow doesn't have one, we will quickly... Oh! Ah! Okay! Neat! If one of them has an adamantine ball, the game activates the chain where otherwise normally it doesn't. That's a nice little detail! Because the game is kind of like, eh, eh, eh. You're not supposed to. Huh, interesting. We can, st <laughs> we can gently glide over the land to go a little bit faster and avoid small little things, but otherwise, eh. But I like that. You can't just cheese uh, certain puzzles by having the non-ball-wielding one. fly ahead and spawn your ally. No, no, no. I like that. That's a cool little thing. Again, the music is nice. The gameplay feels evolved again. Come on, Cinder. Yeah, I'm just really, really digging it. And also, I do enjoy, the, like, even though the like, uh, wait, we, uh, ba ba ba. I think we want to actually go this way, and I think. Because I think we want to go up this ramp to be able to be on the right side of the river when we get to the raft. Uh, Spyro, <laughs> your AI <laughs> with the chain. Yeah, come on, game. More this way. Have to get Spyro to come all the way. Come on, Spyro. Ah, uh, great. Now Cinder teleported to the other side of the wall. Because I could have sworn this is the, what the game would want me to do. Because But apparently not Even though Why else would you have this be here? Because that feels like it's the thing I'm supposed to do To get on the right side with the raft but Yeah, overall like uh, Just to kind of finish up my thoughts on remaking other Spyro games beyond the Insomniac trilogy. I think there's the most to be ganged by remaking The Legend of Spyro. Plus it again, it feels like we have to get on that side because we knocked over a tree to then get to the raft without flying. But the game doesn't seem to want me to do that. Hmm. Which is weird. Unless we're supposed to, like, glide down the river from a different part, which is kind of weird. But, hey. Guess we'll have to give it a shot. Unless, unless, we can maybe glide this way. There we go. Not sure if that's exactly what the game wanted, but it is now. But yeah, just like 
Enter the Dragonfly is kind of useless as a Spyro game. There's not much to it because executive meddling really crushed whatever unique aspects there could have been. Hmm. Damn it. So apparently not. Hmm. Yes, game. I see the goddamn raft. You can t stop taking away my control. The question is, how the hell do I get the the orbs to it? Because you put a fucking ro stop taking away my control of my camera. Fuck off, game. Fuck off. I said you want to look this way. <laughs> I don't like it when games take away my camera control. Hmm. Unless like. Hmm. I don't know. Something weird. Let's do it. I'm going to set these down and then like look around and see. Because surely it has nothing to do with the nets. Still weird. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any other way to get up here, so didn't expect me. Again, it's weird that they have this at all then. Hmm. Unless it's meant to be like meadow <laughs> disembarking. Yeah, I'm just my brain is just jumping all over the place. It's mostly just like Enter the Dragonfly sadly doesn't have anything really worth remaking because there really isn't a story. The abilities aren't interesting, the levels aren't really interesting. Like if you remake Enter the Dragonfly, you're not actually oh, because we need to grab gadget. Gotcha. Okay, we need to we need to climb. But, like, if you remake Enter the Dragonfly, you're not actually going to remake Enter the Dragonfly. You are going to salvage the 10% of good ideas that were allowed to shine through the utter mess the development was. Hero's Tale, there's a bit more, but, again, it doesn't feel like there's that much. There isn't really much of a story to, like expand on and flesh out. Like, maybe you could fix the boss fights? But, even then, like, I don't know. Ah, then I can just drop it and then teleport back to him. Because the thing with, like, A Hero's Tale is it's fine enough, but I don't think it's worth remaking. Especially when you could spend, like, however much resources to, uh, like, dedicate those resources to remaking a trilogy like this game. Like, again, maybe make, like, I don't know. Because, like, uh, uh, the one downside I could say to remaking the Legend of Spyro trilogy is that if you did remake it, you have a lot of things that you need to then ask the question of. Do we remake them super faithfully but clean things up? Like, make it so the pirate ship train ripoff isn't annoying uh, fix the pirate bosses, fight to be a bit more interesting to fight and not clunky. Like, uh, make the swamp level a bit more interesting. Actually put the story that they weren't able to due to budget and time constraints into Eternal Night. Like, do you expand? Do you make it faithful? Or do you just completely overhaul and make it pretty much a remake reimagining? Personally, I would say Remake Reimagining and make it, like, the best 
form of Legend of Spyro it could possibly be. Ooh! What is this? Because I grab... Do we both need to grab? Like, I don't know. Hmm. Because there is an interactable, but it doesn't feel like I can do anything while I'm in that mode. I can become sp Ah, I need to pull it along! I get you now! That's cool! This is a cool mechanic! I love that the game is using the, like, co-op binding bracelet. I like it. I like this a lot. But uh, back to my thoughts, like, on the one hand, you can, like, uh, oh, enemies, darn. All right. Oh, it's good. It's just stuck here. It sticks around. Be like, uh... Ba -ba. Like, I lost my thoughts there, but... If they did remake Legend of Spyro, I think it would run into the issue of there's a million different ways that they could tangibly remake the trilogy that wouldn't please everybody. Because I think it would be a little bit wonky if they tried to faithfully remake each one so it would basically be like the original to uh, Chrome Studios games, uh, New Beginning and Eternal Night that look different compared to Dawn of the Dragon. But at the same time, there is kind of a charm to it. To that, like, style. Just that down now. Really, in my mind, I think... Like, again, if I was ever in control of a remake of this trilogy, I would always vote for give them a unified graphic style and then, like, still make it so that Spyro and Cinder look a little different in their small forms in the first two games. So they kind of uh, somehow grow up a little bit inside of a crystal. No idea how that works, but hey. Oh, I, I, I forgot. I thought that was like the lock-in button. For some reason, my brain is dumb. A little bit odd that the player can do that, but hey. And again, if they ever did remake the Legend of Spyro trilogy, definitely expand on the story in certain segments. And definitely give, like, more time to the characters, more character moments.
basically refine the story. Again, in the Eternal Knight, make it Master, Chief, and Arbiter. So that Cinder actually gets stuff to do. Even if it would, like, be a little bit broken. Because Cinder wouldn't have multiple breath types. But I, but I. We brought back your friend, idiots. Meadow, you're wounded. How did I look fine? Thanks to these two dragons. And dragonfly, mosquito man. Meadow, please forgive me. These dragons willingly sought to help me when I chose. Well, at least this guy is fessing up to it. I do not share your faith in this dragon hunter. But by putting you in chains. Shall try to atone for mine, if you will permit me. What's this? Use the forbidden tunnel. <laughs> the forbidden tunnel. To the dragon city. If this dragon is indeed our last hope, then I bid you seek passage here, and good luck. We could use your help. Very well. <laughs> the invitation shall be left open. Well, yeah, come to think of it, if there was a remake of the trilogy, I wouldn't mind if they all had this combat style. Because this feels the best out of all of them. Like, it's simplified, so it's a little bit easier than the original. Like, uh, but, but, uh, there's still a missing health crystal. Now, where did I miss a health crystal? But yeah, like, in some ways, this combat system feels easier than a new beginning. But at the same time, also more like, uh, free-flowing and, uh, nice. Even compared to, uh... Eternal Night, which I will still say, even if Eternal Night's, like, overall gameplay is kind of wonky. Like, uh, it still feels smooth. Hmm. Just wondering, because it feels like we should be able to go from one rock to another. But I'm not even sure if there's anything up there. Which it doesn't seem to be. Man, just overall, I'm really vibing with this game. And even though, like... I think that, like, uh, Activision, who I think owns the IP currently, would be a bit wary to remake this trilogy because, like, oh no, the fans will, like, get annoyed by it or something. But I still think that the people who complained about like, this trilogy being darker and not like the other Spyros is just a little bit silly. This is enough like Spyro. <laughs> Activision is not a publisher to trust. True, but at the same time, when they don't have their hands just entirely in a project... And just act like a normal publisher. They can still put out good stuff. Like the Reignited Trilogy. <laughs> the, like, the only reason I'm even saying... Like, because here's the thing. If I was playing this trilogy, The Legend of Spyro, before... Like, uh, before the Reignited Trilogy came out... 
There is no way in hell that I would ever say like, Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna get a Legend of Spyro, like, uh, trilogy remake. Mostly because... Like... <laughs> there's no way in hell that they would remake Legend of Spyro before... Like, the Insomniac trilogy. The Insomniac trilogy would definitely need to be made, remade first before Legend of Spyro ever got a chance, but since it has, hey, why not? Give Legend of Spyro a shot, I say. Especially now, years later, I think it would give people a chance to reevaluate it. Compared to how they first treated it. Because a lot of the initial criticisms, I think, that you would hear towards The Legend of Spyro were mostly gut reactions of like, oh, it's not like my Spyro. Whereas even though the other Spyro games, A Hero's Tale, like uh, Enter the Dragonfly, even though they were bad... And clunky in their own ways. Like, it still had enough to be like Spyro. Even though I personally think that The Legend of Spyro does a fantastic job of translating, like, the aesthetic and identity of Spyro into a story based 3D beat em up. Because. The way that they incorporate the crystals to be health, mana, and experience is just a fantastic way of doing it. In my, like, again, but then again, I could just be in the minority of people because I personally don't really follow, like, a game series for a gameplay, usually. For me, I usually follow a game series because I like the characters or the story. And then the gameplay is mostly secondary. Like, sure, the gameplay is important. It needs to be good and fun and carry the story. Act as a decent vehicle to carry that story. Just look at, like, uh, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Until Gates to Infinity, I was always of the mind that the gameplay was just a adequate vehicle to get the story from point A to point B. And I was perfectly fine with that. The, the gameplay was passable and served as a vehicle for the story. Though I will say that uh, Gates to Infinity went above and beyond and made the gameplay really, really fun, and I can't wait for, like, uh... And I really, really hope that Super Mystery Dungeon continues that trend of making the gameplay better. Well, it looks like I have no idea where the final crystal is unless the final crystal... Like, maybe the crystal is, like, hidden in the Hermit's Place? We'll, we'll check out the Hermit's Place one more time. Like, not actually trying to climb, but, like, the actual hermit obstacle course. We'll give this one more looks you do And then go talk to Hunter. But yeah, but yeah. Gates to Infinity was a super fun time. And I desperately hope that Super Mystery Dungeon continues the... Like, a what's the word? The trend of making the gameplay of the, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series more and more fun. Aha! I should have known. Booyah! Health upgrade for Spyro. And one away for Cinder. Speaking of that, let's see if we can upgrade any... Oh, well, we could upgrade Venom, it seems. Hmm. I think I'll upgrade wind because wind could be good against something. 
And now our fury level has increased. Oh, is Cyclone basically this game's version of A New Beginning's electricity? We'll have to try that. See if we can instant kill enemies by throwing them around. Considering that some of the enemies have been flying a lot, doubts, but still. But it still means that I am that one missing health diddly D from the opening level missing, but oh well. I wonder if I can replay the opening level and uh, carry over like re like uh, extra found collectibles. I would like that. But this is a very good level. It was open, free flowing, lots to do. I found it quite fun. And the emulator didn't shit the bed all that much. Now let's go to Warfang. See, ooh, let's see what Ignitus, uh, Terador, Voltir, and Cyril look like. We have to go this way. If we march quickly, we shall reach the Dragon City. And like God, yeah, yeah, <laughs> every single time I hear Sparks' voice from off screen, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Who's talking? Is that Spyro? That's not Spyro. Seen the Dragon City before. It was built long ago. Oh, from the. Homes in honor of the you mean the man we man we're smalls? Before Malifor, dragons were quite revered. I heard it too. Quickly. It's something marching upon the. This is a big city. It has begun. Three years in. Okay, if that's the army that's needed to march upon Warfang, why did, did they not? Why do they even have the sanctuary? Stay close. Maybe the sanctuary was smaller but more hidden. <laughs> Stay close. Immediately unable to do that. I'm all right, but you won't be able to get through this way. Go. We can fly. How do we extinguish the flames? Uh, how do we ex extinguish, uh... I have no idea. Maybe I need to blow him out. Hmm, or maybe not. It's not working. There has to be another way. Also, we're just in in a place. Help! Help, please! They're screaming for help, but I do not know how. Help! Please help us! Like I I can't, I would if I could. I don't think you're on a timer. Oh, maybe I need to do ice. Help us, please. I don't know. Ice doesn't really feel like an answer answer, but still. Help. Oh, don't like fire. Help. At this point, you could probably have jumped out. Well, I do see, like, uh, water canals. Well, let's take a look. How many things in this level? No bosses, but more armor. I love the armor. Over here, over here. Ah, there's also an experience thing on top of the building. <laughs> there's no way you could make it through this way. Like, I get it. Hmm. Help! Help, please! I would if I could. <laughs> the way their voice acting kind of reminds me of, uh... Oh, hey! Dragon statues! <laughs> but it kind of reminds me of the voice acting done in the game, uh, Black and White. 
which is like a a god game simulator. How are we even supposed to get here? I don't even think a, py a pyromaniac would enjoy fire after all this. Hmm. Come on, help us. Hey! Do we use uh, shadow magic? Aha! Shadow magic! I figured it looked dark and sparkly. I'm going to presume armor for Cinder. Aha, armor for Cinder. And what does it do? Because this wounds attacking enemies increases attack speed. I kind of like that. Help us, please. No idea what that. Is still kind of funny. Oh, hey. Still kind of funny that, like. They're like, oh, fire, oh, help. Even though it, the fire isn't even really burning them. But don't worry, moles. Man, we're smalls. I wonder if we'll run into Moliere. Black fire. Gotta go fast. Gotta spin fast. Gotta get water, 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 water. How's that gonna... Is it gonna overflow or what? Or are we gonna be able to, like, use it somehow? Please do something. Oh, now they're burning for burning. But how am I going to use the water, though? Please help us. Help, please. Uh. All right. Uh, I think this way opened up now. And that'll allow us to... Like, do something. Hello. Hello. What's going on? Oh, I'm very frightened. Hello? Help! Help us, please! Help! Help, please! Yeah, because we opened up the, the water, and then this place opened up. <laughs> find a bucket! We need to find a bucket. You'd think that... <laughs> it's like the... Uh, a version of that... Adam West Batman... Bit. Oh. Where it's just like... Some days you just can't find a bucket. We gotta play a dragon firefighter. We gotta play a dragon firefighter. Oh, I don't like fire. Help. Help. Help, please. Look, it's working. The flames are dying down. We nearly got it. Please help us. 
Don't try to save yourselves. Help! Help, please! <laughs> Honestly, with how much damage that building has taken, I'm surprised you're still alive, not through because of the fire. But more because of, like... I don't know, it's like, it, it should have fallen down by now. I, I feel like it's a little cruel that we have to run back to get a third bucket. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I should grab and smiggity smack. And we'll, uh, we'll grab Duo Bucket just in case. Cover me. Help! Help, please! Firefighting dragons are here coming. Take the power of water! <laughs> the one time Spyro doesn't have a water breath. Oh, damn it! Was I supposed to explore more? We saved our lives. No big deal. Risking our lives, saving people, dodging danger, taking it to the man. <laughs> it's an occupation. Look out! Siege engines! They're sending in their war machines. Hopefully, that's not the entire level. Fancy cannon you got there. What even are these horrific monsters? They're like zombies. Listen to me. Everyone who can still fight must go to the ramparts. The rest of you run. Get under cover. All of them say, hey, "Oh, I can't. None of us can fight." Hey, uh, wait for me. Okay, good. We begin again. I was slightly worried there for a moment. It's big at East Mac time. <laughs> now I'm just imagining there has to be some people that are like, I'm going to beat this entire level with a bucket. Uh, it's like the the Noam Chomsky thing. In fact, actually, he, why do you have a bucket? <laughs> Yeah, I am very much delighted by how this game is going so far. A little bothered by the camera restrictions. Hmm. How do I activate you? Aha! I methinks I know. Dang it. Huh, I thought I have to light up all of those. On top, but no. Then I know where at least one other is. I guess I didn't fully light it. But yeah, if we have a whole frickin' city, why did they take, like, the eggs to a random sanctuary? That was obviously not safer. Because they still got attacked and, like, annihilated. Twice! So we didn't really look around this area. Huh. 
Yeah, extra odd. I figured that this would be the most obvious place to put another brazier. But I do kind of like how it feels like dragons would kind of live here purely because of the amount of the crystals that are hanging about. Oh, hey. I completely missed this. I also like that they made unique abilities that are, like, beneficial in certain situations. Although, why? Like, uh, the dragons would be like, we need a specifically, like, uh, Locked down diddly deer right here. That only people with shadow magic could do. <gasps> or like, is th are there other dragons that are like, uh, actually normally able to do? Like, shadow in fear and they're like... That's the, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Their security measures? Only a dragon of shadow power can unlock this door. Surprise! Power of darkness. I'm just looking for that third... Light him up pit. Oh, hey, enemies. <laughs> I swing you around. Hmm. I looked everywhere. I can only assume that unless I missed an obvious one. Then it must be up ahead. Although this looks like a we're gonna lock you off segment. Follow me. Come on, let me light it up this way. <laughs> I'm ingenuitive. Get feared to death, idiot. Hmm, I mean, I did save, so if game is mean, I should be able to go be like, ah, quit level and load a save. It is putting a save point right here. So near the ramparts. It still feels like this is a we're gonna lock you down. Which is definitely gonna happen after I open that then. Hmm. Where is that final Bobada Ba? I almost missed the ability to charge to go slightly faster. Because it's not up there, that's the only, like, uh, that's only for the one thing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think I saw a thing! That was a little bit hard to see. These! The camera's always trying to trick me. How dare you. But now we need Cinder's ability to blow. Spyro is a lucky man. Hmm. 
You sneaky little torch thing. All because I always convenient. It doesn't help that, like, if I had normal camera control, I would totally have seen the vines. It's always when the game is slightly taking control of the camera away that I just miss the obvious. But I do like, again, that there are so many dragon crystals out and about. As if dragons do live here. I'm like, oh, I just need to top up my mana. Yep. Get obliterated, idiots. The power of fear compels you. I do like that it seems that if you do, like, extra, like, over damage, you kind of get a bit of, uh, a pseudo-refund. You hit an enemy a lot, they give a bit more... Like, uh, mana juice gems. And now we shall save again. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Even if the puzzles are a little mean, here or there. Even though the city has been bombarded, <laughs> let us... <laughs> only now shall we continue. Because I knew that would happen. Onto the ramparts like this is Helm's Deep. We hold our staffs proud. Hells, we can't let them destroy the catapult. It's not a catapult, it's a cannon. Okay, but I want to see. Uh, no hidden enemies, but just a decent amount of things. First things first. Give. Look at all those 2D sprites coming to kill us. Well, repair the catapult. But I want to see. How far can we go this way? They might buy hidey things. Or maybe this is the way we're supposed to go later, but I don't know. And the game isn't exactly the kindest sometimes. Although we are sacrificing the cannon a bit. Oh, hey, one of the landing things got utterly annihilated. Rise, I got to the repairing. Quick, we have to reload. How these two know how to repair a cannon battery or cannon catapult? No idea.
Also, you've not been firing at the battering ram, as we as you advertised. But man, these things are just utterly horrifying. Why don't you shoot it first? Ah, let me get some. Now we have to go and beat up these landing parties. Oh, hey. Excuse me, I'll just sm smack this down a lot. I'm just getting more juice out of you. Alright, you're just being a weirdo. Stop. I demand you cease being a weirdo. Because we have to go repair that. There we go. Finally. That took a lot. <laughs> there was like no indications. Like, am I doing something wrong? Oh, he's dead. Randy got blue. Oh, no, he, he somehow survived. Look, we need to get him back on that catapult. Oh, let's hurry. The tower is closing in. Random slow mo time. That's what I'm doing, game. I be repairing the catapult. I'll buy us enough time, hopefully. Hmm. I wonder if I'm expected to destroy the crystal on that one, too. Like maybe no, stay close to me. Don't leave me here alone. Eh, it's too far away. Or is it? I don't know. It's hard to judge. And schmickety schmack. We'll go ahead and repair the catapult. You're a soldier, aren't you? Act the part, why don't you? Just barrel through them. Alright, maybe the big guy's a little too much. Good guy or bad guy? Okay, that's an act. Okay, I think that was a dragon just, uh, like dragging an enemy into the uh, the ramparts to smack him, maybe. I don't know. They didn't look fucked up like uh, an enemy enemy. 
you would presume to be. But who knows? Deal over damage, get mana. Quick, we, have to reload. we also need to keep the thing working. You know, where's all your allies who were, like, reloading earlier, I guess? Then go ahead and fire. You'd think we'd have more catapults. Now that we're kind of free, let's update your health. Grab you and then I smack you. Since it's just little guys. Until evil evils come, I'm gonna go get that other ma or like a experience gym that was all the way here at the beginning. Oh, now that one lands. I knew you'd be something I'd need to worry about. Because we need all the experience we can get from those. I'm just hearing Spyro beat up a guy from off screen. And heal a bit faster than the cannon can shoot. Get it back up a bit. And now we'll go smack up that tower. I hate this guy that just steals all of my goddamn mana. Go ahead and annihilate you if we can. I don't know what dark magics you use to take away all my mana, but how dare. Hmm. I'm not sure if I need to, like, put in enough, like, my mana, or if I just need to hit it a bunch. Because it seems to sap all of my breath mana every time I get close. So I'm not sure if, like, that's the, the gameplay, or if I need to smack it, too. I'll probably have to go and heal. Repair and reload. First things first. I do like that you have a bit of catch-up healing. Where the lower it is, it kind of heals faster. And that's what we're trying to help you with. That's bullshit, I was reloading. Where did you even come from, you asshole? Quick, we have to reload. I can't because this guy's being an asshole. Please die. 
<laughs> random enemy that only spawned to stop me from reloading the cannon. the can in a bit and then head back and try to destroy the dark crystal again again I don't know if I'm just not hitting it enough or I need to super mana it Right? I think it's just hitting. It just also drains your mana. Which feels a little weird, but okay. Is the battering ram going to make it through anyway? <laughs> Seriously, what are these things? Oh, hey, you arrived. I don't think you're going to help much. That is a very big amount of enemies. Ah, great, another crystal bashing. At the same place. Oh, double. Double the trouble. Right, you're just being annoying with your weird dark magics. How dare. Stop. Definitely need to make our way to the cannon to heal it. Come on, Spyro. We got here just in time. I'll just quickly top it off. Why do we only have one cannon? The shield guy is just annoying to me. Doesn't even feel like he's actually doing all that much. He's just refusing to take damage. There we go. Finally, he's dead. I wish these crystals had a health bar. It just would be nice to know how much more mashing I must do. But yeah, those shield guys are just weird. Or they have the, just a weird magic power to do a ton of damage out of nowhere. By throwing dark magic around. Go ahead, heal this up as much as possible. And then dodge, roll our way over here. Well, we need to focus down the shield guy if he's here. Doesn't seem like there's a shield guy, though. We do need to focus down the ranged guys, just because they're slightly annoying. 
Luckily, fear exists. Why are these things even powered by the dark crystals, I wonder? At least I can damage you and the crystal at the same time. Get out of here. No more hit and runs. <laughs> Wrong button. I mean, while we do it, let's see. Ah, don't worry. I want to help level up fear for the ultimate fear power. And we're almost getting there. As for you, what were we leveling up for you? Oh yeah, we were leveling up electricity. Next will probably help level up his ice to get that Fury Gem. Man, just how many... <laughs> I feel like if the enemy concentrated their fire a bit more, this cannon would have gone down ages ago. Not a very good <laughs> door you have. Like, sure, you've probably destroyed their battering ram, but it still got off enough hits to probably let them leak in. What are you? What vile Shrek monster are you? It didn't even bust in, it just kind of nuzzled its way through. I don't- I don't even know if... Hunter dodged or not. Thanks to the destruction of public infrastructure, we can now continue. Oh, well that's kind of mean game. Ah, because there's, uh, there's, ah, there's vines again. On the inconsp- the conspicuously green wall. This is generally why I dislike it when games take away control of the camera. Because sometimes it just gets a little bit bothersome. But there we go. Go ahead and save. Ooh, a treasure chest, too. Who will get this armor? I think Spyro is due next. Oh! Uh, it looks like Spyro because it has room for his frills, maybe. Yep. Why is Spyro the one getting all the helmets? Cinder would like a full set of armor, too. Increased melee attack. Honestly, increased melee attack. Seems good. Also makes his uh, helmet look a little bit less weird. Or like this helmet looks a little bit less weird. I should say. Proper languaging. Uh. Ah, this way. I just wanted to make sure this is the way. When there was no other secrets. Well, at least I closed the door behind that guy. And it looks none the worse for wear. Oh! That seems like a cool locking mechanism. Time for war. Although I do want to look around this area in case there's, I don't know, potential secrets. 
<laughs> Ooh, I see thing. I see shadow door. Is this really the time for shadow? But yes, it is. I'm kind of enjoying the music too. I need to remember, dodging is important. Oh, yeah, uh, spinny spin, because big wind-up, gotcha. I was almost half expecting that to be a shockwave attack. It's almost interesting that, like, this guy has no... Like, none of the enemies so far have had health bars compared to the other games. Ah, you're losing your ar stone armor. You're breaking apart, little man. Take my fearful power! And now you're dead. Goodbye. Why are you showing- oh, we need to light those up again? Well, that's horrifying. Okay. All right, team. We got to keep these gates. Oh, hey. So, you keep the gates closed. I'm going to watch you to make sure that you're okay. Oh, fuck off. Range guy automatically going for me. Oh, just a bunch of jerks. I want treasure. I think this is definitely a cinder type armor. Let's take a look. Man, we're just missing one health upgrade. Which honestly, I prefer the armor anyway. God damn, of course, of right as. Get feared, ranged man. Crush them, crush them all. Gotta roll, gotta roll. I do like that they keep Spyro rolling. For his dodges. Get blasted with fear. Jerks and push them away, crush them away, crush them all to death with a giant door. Luckily, when they open up this time. We'll be ready. A 
Have we run out of health already? Also, how are they still always opening up the door when their battering ram is destroyed? Oh, I think I know now. Have to yeah, stop him from opening it. Gotcha. Where are all the dragons defending the gate? Where's Ignitus and Terador? Cyril Voltier. Why don't you come home? <laughs> come help. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. What, what does this helmet do? Increased chance to combo. Huh. I wonder what that even means. We did it. After all the damage, well, I guess they only barely got through the gate, so. Oh, and also the other dragons are finally <laughs> laying siege to their armies. This is odd. Why are they retreating when they were so close to taking the city? Why aren't they retreating when they're so close? Who cares? I feel it too. Something's not right. They're turning around. Look. What are they do? Oh, were they trying to draw out like? Oh, don't tell me it's Gaul back from the dead. Oh no, it's the Golem. Why are you here? Why is the golem here? What even are you? Why would they even need a battering ram when they have a golem? It's kind of crazy. It's attack on... T now, why can you even do that? That doesn't seem right. Well, I guess you're a golem. I guess you can recreate your arm, but why are you only doing it now? Symbolism? Why not from behind? Shouldn't we be fighting? We've been fighting this entire time. What do you mean? What are we gonna? Didn't you just hear Hunter? I do like the like. What's the word? I do like how Wayne Brady is saying the lines. But since that was a <laughs> a lot is happening, we've been going for almost. Well, we're nearing four hours. I do think that it is time to call a stop because. Things are just happening, and I am loving this. I am adoring this. The pacing feels very nice. The gameplay is very nice. The story, so far, even though, like, the story is just, like, you woke up, you have to find, like, first it's like, you woke up, you're in danger. <laughs> you got kidnapped by uh, Hunter's people, and you're in danger. <laughs> You finally made it to the Dragon City, you're in danger. So, it's a little bit, like, there's not much to say in terms of the story, because it's very much chaos, 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 make it, make it. But I'm, enjoy I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it the most so far. The graphics are very nice, the music is also very nice. The fact that Cinder is playable is nice. I do enjoy the little addition of armor, although I just realized something. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So we're maybe a little out of one, two, three. So nine each. So we're a little bit about halfway through, I would say. 
according to collectibles. Although there's entirely possible that there could be levels that have less armor to give than others. So who knows? So who knows indeed. But I am enjoying things. I am very much enjoying things. And I can't wait to see more. I'm just happy that, like, Cinder is actually a front and center thing. I, I'm i really enjoying that they are, like, uh, utilizing the, like, trap mechanism that the weird plant people put on Cinder and Spyro. Also, like, <laughs> one thing I don't get, considering that the plant monster people are obviously working for the Dark Master. They are the ones who are attacking the city. They're the ones that kind of set up to, to awaken the golem, I guess. Why didn't they just kill Cinder and Spyro when they shattered the crystal? It's like they put on the, t the tether. They then tether the tether to a platform, leave them there, then their big boss is like, oh, don't let them escape. It's like, it makes no sense. Then we escape. We're still tethered. But I, I do enjoy that. Even if that is just there to make an excuse for the tether existing, I do enjoy it. Because it leads to cool little things like the boat pulling. Which was a little confusing at first. But then once I uh, thought of it, it was like very, very cool. It is very neat. It's just the game is fun. It's action-packed, it's fun, it, and it has decent characters so far. I'm really, really, really liking it, and I cannot wait to experience more. At least so far, it's like... I'm trying to think of the words like... It feels like more is happening story-wise than even compared to A New Beginning and especially Eternal Night. It feels like the levels have meaning and purpose. And again, the characters... Wayne Brady's reading as Spark is still very nice, even though does not fit Spark's at all. Like, as much crap as I give David Spade for just being David Spade reading as Spark's, his voice still kind of fits Spark's. Same thing with, I forget his name, Fry from Futurama. His voice really fits Spark's. Wayne Brady, great voice. Great reading, voice just doesn't match Sparks. I guess you could make the excuse that since Spyro and Cinder, like, seemed to be implied to have grown within the crystal, like absorbed power or something, that maybe the same thing happened to Sparks, but I don't know. It's just, it's funny that it happens out of nowhere. But yeah, I am enjoying this, and I cannot wait to play more. We've been going for four hours. The monster designs are much like... Like, I don't know. They're... The monster designs feel more muddied compared to the apes. But at the same time, feel a lot more varied compared to the apes. It's almost like they took, like, these 3D models and then slapped on weird, craggy, m like, textures over them all. So, like, they don't really feel like designed monsters so much as they made a 3D model and then applied a texture to make it appear more monstrous. Like, the designs are a little weird looking. Whereas, like, each variant of the apes, there was, like, something to enjoy. There felt like there was a bit more care given to the apes. And even the other enemies within the other games. It's just like, I don't know. The texturing is what makes these enemies look weird. They definitely feel a lot more monstrous, inhuman, and creepy. But, I don't know. There's just something off about them. But hey, I'll take off-looking monsters for good gameplay and story any day. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. And I... Just like... Very, it's very fun. It's very fun. It plays the best so far. It feels the best. We can actually kind of fly glide a lot more, which just really helps the flow. And I really do enjoy, like I, I'm saying enjoy, enjoy a lot, but it's just I, I just really like it. 
but I one thing I do appreciate from these developers is that even though they made a bunch of puzzle like kind of platformy puzzly things, they didn't super duper make it adhere to that. So if you kind of jankily make your way past, you're like they didn't put up super guards to stop you from doing that. The closest thing was the air blowing you back down the river to the hermit's little cave. That's like the closest thing. Everything else is just like, hey, if you make it there, you make it there. Go get those crystals, and it's fun. It's very nice. But enough about me rambling about how this is just very, very nice. Uh, that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings. That has links to all that I do, like my edited content YouTube channel. I've actually made a few like uh, beginnings of scripts for some videos that I need to then record and then edit. The, the, the editing is the hard part. Bleh. But other things on my link tree are my streaming YouTube and streaming Twitch, of which all of these streams are uploaded to my streaming YouTube channel after the fact, so they can just be nicely contained and watched by anybody. Other things include... Uh, Places that I upload my art to, like my little character in the corner. So if you want to follow me on DeviantArt Newgrounds, Tumblr, uh, Blue Sky, Twitter, there's so, so, so many, so many, so many sites. You can follow me for art on all those platforms. And then if you want to read some stories I've doth written, uh, some links to that can be in the link tree as well. And if you are feeling the utmost kind and are in a good position in life, my Patreon is also linked as a little donation bucket for people to throw some dollary dues my way if they are so inclined. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, stay kind and stay hydrated. See you next time. Bye-bye.